Praise the Lord. My dear friends, our life is the gift of God. We have come from God. Like the tree which has its roots and the roots are very important though we can't see it. Even in summer, even in the storm, it's the root that sustains the tree. If the root is not strong, it will the tree will become victim to the storm and to the heat of the day. Yes, you and I come from God. Many things in the world are crying. The evil forces are roaring like a lion. How to catch us? How to catch our thoughts and imagination and pull us to the dirt and death? If you are not alert, you are gone. In today's gospel, we find how a woman, a child of God, who is created to have fellowship with God and enjoy all that of God, she doesn't know maybe she falls into sin, lives a horrible life of a prostitution. And the Bible says, Proverbs chapter 14 verse 16, your sin will catch you one day. A wise man fears and departs from evil, but a fool rages with self-confident. I can do anything. And one day, the same sin that teaches you, you can get money, you can do many things, will catch you and shame you because behind the sin, there is the power of the enemy, Satan. Yes, this woman was caught. And the horribleness of sin is, they pulled her. Second, the sin made her to stand in, in the midst of all the men. What would have been her condition? Third, they had pulled her hair. And fourth, they had stones on their hands. And the stones will kill her. Fear of death. Yes, shame. That is the purpose of the enemy. If you are not be alert with the Lord, you will become a foolish person. And that will destroy you. Sin will destroy you until it completes you and drags you to hell. If you are not alert to know who you are, if you are not alert to build up your relationship with the Lord, there is no life at all in the world. The horribleness of sin. But on the other hand, we find the second stage. The merciful Savior, by His grace, He calls us even though we don't deserve Luckily, this woman was thrown at the feet of the Lord. Yes. John 6, 24 says, Unless the Father draws us, no one can come to the Lord. Today you are busy. Still you are listening to the word. It's the grace of God. God doesn't want you to die. He pulls us. He draws us to himself. It's the moment of grace for us. And that was the moment of grace for this woman in favorable situations are allowed by God to be favorable if we return to God. Sometimes God allows unfavorable situations that we will return to God and get back into life. And this woman had that gracious moment to fall at the feet of the Lord. And the third stage we find if we return to God the Lord offers himself he sheds his own blood and through his blood, through his sacrifice, he cleanses all our sin and gives us new life. That's what we find in today's first reading from the book of Isaiah 43. Return to your God. Know your God. In the desert, he will bring springs of living water. In the thick forest, he will prepare highway. Our God is a great God. Don't remember your past. Maybe your past is a horrible past. The word of God says, 43 verse 18 and 19, Your God is alert. Though in your foolishness, you are thrown away, you are gone away from life, the mercy of God, grace of God is hungering for you. Come back to me. Without me, you will die. Return. I am waiting for you. Yes. Why do you look at your past and cry? Think of what your God is doing in you and renew your life and be rebuilt by the Lord. Yes, that's what today's first reading is all about. And we find this woman is at the feet of the Lord. 
and the Lord is trying to save that girl. But the sin will not leave you. Unless you are completely caught up into the Lord. Unless you understand the horribleness of sin. How, where does the sin lead you to? If you are not alert, you are gone. If you are not moving with the God, the world and evil will move with you and make you zero. Your life is not a game idea. Your, game, your life is a battle. Your life is a war. The enemy is mad after you. If you are not mad after the Lord, you are gone. It is not a simply the situation will build you. Life will build you. And the woman is shivering. And the Lord who gave his flesh, his blood, he is standing there. Not even looking at that woman. He doesn't want her to put to shame. He knows the shame and painful experience of every human being. Especially the horribleness that is brought by sin. So he bends down. They are asking. This woman is a sinner. They go to the scripture. According to the Moses law. She has to be stoned. And the stones are ready in their hands. Yes. Sin will be prepared. Sin will not leave you. Sin will come with all its preparation to make you zero. But not in front of the Savior's power and mercy. In front of the power and mercy of the Savior. In front of the light. The darkness and the schemes of darkness have to fail. Jesus took his finger. This finger is the softest part in the body. And he writes down on the floor which is full of mud and little bubbles. When he writes, this little finger experiences the pain. Maybe blood was oozing in his hands. He understands when the stones are fallen, what will happen to the flesh. Before you and I experience the horribleness of sin, Jesus experienced it on the cross for you and me. He carried all of our sin. And the sin made him to suffer. He cried, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? The sin destroyed him. Yes. Jesus tastes your death in his life because of his love for you and me. When his little finger was wounded for that woman's sake. And he said, those who don't have the sin, throw the first stone. He stood with her and stood for her and spoke for her. Do you know, though you have fallen in sin and the sin is mad after you, the sin has made your life zero. You have a savior who has offered himself for you, who is drawing you, calling you back to himself. And they all went away. When you get into the Lord's favor, when you get back to the Lord's mercy, the mercy of God will protect you and relieve you from all the horribleness of the effect of sin of your life. Yes, that's what we read in the book of Zachariah, chapter 9, verse 12. You have destroyed your life. Return back to your strength. Return back to your fortress. Return back to your life. Don't be a foolish person. Return. Be a wisdom person. And returned back to life. Yes. And Jesus looked at her and said, My daughter, where are those who have condemned you? When you return to life, all those who condemn you, they move away from you. No other place. In no other place you will have the victory over your sin. Only in the presence of the Lord. So, return back to God as early as possible and he can rebuild you. If you don't be alert to it, the end is horrible. Yes. The Bible says, if you return to the Lord, the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 7 says, when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even the enemies to be at peace with him. Yes. The Lord rebuilt her life. I don't condemn you. Don't sin anymore. And the fourth stage, being forgiven by God, we have to be alert to rebuild our lives. The fourth stage, 
having received the mercy of God, if we don't rebuild, the later stage will be horrible than the previous stage. Yes, that's what in today's second reading we read. St. Paul, he was a horrible man, a destructive man. But when he received the grace and mercy of God, came to know the Lord, and then his life became different. He said, this world is rubbish in front of my God. And I consider everything as nothing. So I want to know him. I want to experience the power of resurrection. And I want to lead people and give life to everybody. Yes, God is calling you. I just want to end with a small incident which, which happened in the life of Jesus. One day Jesus came and he saw a man lying for 38 years even before he was born. So he could have seen the horrible face and condition of that man. He raised him up, saying, your sins are forgiven. And then he saw him in the temple and said, son, you are well now. Take care. If you don't return back to God and go back to sin, the later years of your life will be horrible than the earlier one. Yes. Let's close our eyes and pray. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. You are leading man in four stages. The first stage of be alert what the sin do to you. If you are not alert and throw yourself to sin, as the word says, the fool folds his hands and he is consumed by his own flesh. If you are not alert to run to God, you are at the hand of the enemy. You are telling us, Lord, help us to wake us up. Help us to hunger for you. Help us to hold on to you. Lord, second, help us to understand. Today, in spite of all our sin, our soul is thirsting for you. We are hearing this word. It's your grace. You have never left us. You don't want to leave us. Through unfavorable situations that happen in our lives, you are taking us back to the favorable condition to return to you. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be with you and to be renewed. Let our deserts turn into springs of living water. Let our forest, which has wild animals, be destroyed and a beautiful way be created. Yes, Lord, help us to move from our past to past to horrible, sinful life to you, O oh Lord, to your mercy, to your grace. And help us like Paul, the fourth stage of being rebuilt by you and to commit our lives for you. If I live, it's for the Lord who has loved me and gave his life for me. Thank you, Lord. Please lead us. I surrender all those who are listening to the word of God. Bless every one of them, their families. May they all be guided by your spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I bless them. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day. Praise the Lord. My dear friends, Sangam on Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.